and any excess there is going to vent and boil as yeah, it becomes exposed to the ambient air. This time, the first and second stages are beginning to pressurize for launch, and we're about 10 seconds away from that startup call out. Falcon 9 is in startup. We've heard that startup call out, and we're now waiting for that final go for launch call out from our launch director. Falcon 9, Starlink, LDs, go for launch. We're ready to go. Falcon 9 is ready to go. All systems are go for launch. Now, now let's listen into the terminal count seconds. and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 60 Starlink satellites into orbit on its 10th flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Let's go, Stalker, for number 10. Cable's pitching down the engine chamber pressure is nominal. Right, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Falcon carrying towers, yet again country. another stack of 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. Just moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q. That's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure occurs right after we go supersonic. After this point, we're then able to Falcon throttle the engines back supersonic. up. That call is just about 10 seconds away. Cut off, known as Miko, stage separation, and second engine start one. To explain and the first one, has begun. Nico, this is where all nine M1D engines shut off and they slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage step. 